Hello everybody, this is Zet, and this is a tutorial on how to use a VST equalizer on your microphone input in OBS Studio version 18.0.1 and upwards. This tutorial is for the use on Windows and it's aimed at people who have absolutely zero experience with audio editing whatsoever. So first of all, what you will need is of course OBS Studio version 18.0.1 or later they added the support for VST plugins in version 18 and they patched out a few plugins that crashed OBS in the um, 0 0.1 update. I uh, really really like this addition because I am a person who works a lot with audio and thus I have a lot of VST plugins on my computer installed and I love it that I now can use pretty much all of them in OBS. So VST is a technology developed by Steinberg. It stands for Virtual Studio Technology. Basically what this means is there is now plugins in the form of DLL files, which you can install on your computer and use in any audio host thinkable. So it's not a proprietary, well, it is a proprietary format, but it's um, open to several, several hosts who can use them, including OBS now. OBS can only use uh, VST plugins up until version 2. Um, version 3 requires uh, more licensing fees, which OBS, of course, is as an open source platform um, not willing to pay, which I can honestly understand. Um, what we're going to look at today is how you can reduce the noise especially in the lower regions which we don't need of the microphone and in the upper regions if you for example are a speedrunner and play games on a CRT TV how you can reduce those noises um, on your stream that your mic picks up. What this tutorial is not about is magically increasing the quality of your microphone so if you have a rather cheap or bad microphone if you're using the webcam microphone or something don't expect the quality to become any better because it doesn't. There's a audio technician saying that says uh, shit in, shit out, no matter how good your technology is, if what comes in is bad, what goes out is bad as well. However, the filtering techniques will work on any quality of microphone. So the first thing that we will need is the VST plugins. We're going to use our plugins by Reaper. Reaper is a digital audio workstation that you can also use if you want, but um, we're not focusing on the on the product itself, but on the uh, plugins, which are generously provided for free for both Windows 32 and 64-bit. Here's the thing. It depends on which version of OBS you're running. I personally use OBS 64-bit, but uh, there's uh, quite a number of users who still use OBS 32-bit because um, I think the 32-bit version works better with certain capture cards. So download the plugins uh, according to the system, according to the OBS version you're using. So uh, since I'm using 64-bit, I will of course download the 64-bit plugins right here. So I click just on the link and the download will start automatically. Um, I've already downloaded them. So uh, we will not have to wait the whole time. Now here's the download. Uh, there's the installer. Just uh, double click on this. And yes, of course I want to um, install it. Yes, I agree, you can have my soul. All right, here's the thing. You don't need to install every plugin of these. You can, you can install all of these Sorry, you can install all of those. Um, they are a great free opportunity, but uh, all we are focusing today is the re-EQ. It's an equalizer that we're going to use with OBS. So if you want to have a compressor and a gate, maybe as a VST plugin for your OBS usage, then fine, uh, go ahead. But otherwise we are only using the EQ. Now click on next. This path here, uh, will work. I personally use a different path on my machine, but as long as this path, or the, uh, the files are anywhere installed inside of one of those paths, OBS will find the files um, 
uh, that it's scanning. So it's just important that the path here is compatible with the OBS standard paths. Uh, VST plugins are usually also um, just installed at standard paths on your machine. Uh, I have already installed them on my machine, so I'm not going to continue the installation. But if you want to install them, just click on install and it will automatically install as you are used to when you're installing any kind of program or whatever you're installing on your computer. So the next thing is, when we have installed the plugins, we're going to look at OBS again. And now we want to get here is the Micox uh, input. And we're going to click on the little gear right there. Whoops, I just realized that my OBS was still in German. Now it's in English. Now you can all understand what I'm talking about. Also, I like the... That's better. All right, so we're going to click on that little gear down here and we will see filters or properties. We want to click on filters and now here, well, these are the filters that I have already uh, prepared. It's just a simple gain and in my personal EQ that I'm using, this one is um, a very expensive EQ. Uh, it's great for mixing, but I wouldn't recommend spending 140 bucks just for getting a better voice quality out of OBS Studio. So you can just ignore these two filters to add the equalizer that we just don't want to click here down, click down here on the little plus and VST 2.x plugin. Now we're going to call this equalizer. There we go. Here it is. And uh, select the plugin. And now I've got like 500 trillion plugins installed on my PC, but uh, you will only see those that you just download if you haven't used any before. And where is it? re -EQ stand on. That's what we're going to use. So click on this. Now the equalizer is loaded as a VST plugin um, into our aux input, uh, the, the microphone. All right, here is the uh, plugin interface that we can use. Um, and we can see here the uh, frequency analyzer. Hang on, let's, uh, it's a bit larger like this. So when I'm talking, you can see that uh, there is some uh, stuff happening down here. Now, what does, does what does all this mean? Let me explain it real quick. You can see here are numbers from 50 to 20,000. This is basically all it is, the, the number of hertz. Hang on, uh, where is the, yeah. This is just the number of the hertz frequency. So, um, as you might know, every note is just a swinging a certain number of uh, uh, swings per second, and that makes the pitch of a note. And the way our hearing is uh, works is that uh, double the frequency means we hear one octave in difference. So we have 50, 100, 200. We hear the same difference between these differences, but now the next would be at 400 and so on. This is why up here we have uh, between 10,000 and 20,000 the same. Uh, we perceive the same difference as between 100 and 200. This is just the way that our ear works and you just need to accept it. It's uh, audio stuff. Okay, first of all, what we're going to do is a very useful thing. It's called a low cut. That is if you can hear this, if I accidentally um, uh, touch my microphone on the stand, there will very deep frequencies. You can even see this and you can hear this will um, get uh, into the mic and we don't need those because my voice doesn't get as low. So what we're going to do is add a band. These are four bands in this equalizer. So a band uh, means we have um, certain options of differing the frequency that gets sent out of the equalizer. We'll take the lowest band and we need to um, change it from a low shelf to a high pass. A high pass filter is also known as a low cut filter. I personally prefer the term low cut, but um, here it's just called high pass. It's, exa it's exactly the same. The next thing is, this is getting a bit tricky for you because you're going to hear your own voice. You need to know how low your filter needs to be. This is at 100 hertz. This might be a bit too high, um, but I don't hear my voice right now, so I need to go here, click here on the gear, 
and at audio monitoring we will choose well what you choose is whatever you like but I will choose monitor and output because I'm recording this and if I chose monitor only you wouldn't hear me anymore so now I'm hearing myself and I just took off my headphones because um, you will hear yourself with a bit of latency and this can creep you out and totally not make you able to talk I will try to get past this step as quickly as possible okay putting on the headphones now we're going to enable the low pass the high pass filter okay and while we're doing this is we're going to keep talking a bit to check if our voice does lose any crucial frequencies so I'm going to keep talking like la 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 okay now you hear this is way too high my voice lost uh, crucial frequencies here so we're going to be back la back 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 okay 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 uh, a bit test 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 okay i think maybe here test 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 okay hang on disabling monitoring ah now i can talk freely again uh, now you see um, I could have I did uh, uh, put the low pass the high pass excuse me uh, the low cut down and uh, now it's not it's not taking anything away from my voice right now does it hang on check again it doesn't it doesn't da la 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 no not really. I expected it to be a bit lower, maybe at 70 hertz, but I think the low, the um, the steep steepness of the curve is uh, very generous, so we can leave it here at 125 hertz. Uh, it will differ according to your voice. So if you have a different pitch of your voice, then um, it will sound different. And again, what I just demonstrated a few minutes ago, if I just touch my microphone, this sounds uh, is the sound it does when I when the um, high pass is enabled and if I disable it and I touch it now you will hear it's getting a lot uh, a lot louder in the lower uh, regions and we just don't need that okay and here's the interesting part now um, what do you want to do when you're uh, trying to filter out the high pitch noise of a CRT TV uh, the CRT TV due to the technical technical properties of how it is built has a certain frequency that it emits so as you can see here for NTC it's 15,734 Hertz and for a PAL system it's 15,625 Hertz uh, once you're past a certain age you won't hear that anymore I barely still hear it but um, in a few years I will not be able to anymore myself however for your younger viewers they will be able to hear it and you don't want to ruin their ears for them so now I'm going to turn on my uh, my CRT right now okay now I just um, have turn it on unfortunately this equalizer doesn't really show too much in the in the um, on the frequency window but uh, I realized that if I improve the gain a bit here it is so here you can see this little peak right da right down here Uh, okay, excuse me. Now I've gotten a bit louder. This peak down here is um, is the frequency that we want to filter on. So we're going to select the fourth band here, and the same thing that we did with the high pass filter, we're going to do with a low pass filter, is which is also known as a high cut. And now we're going to have to turn on our monitoring again. Do this is loud. Test 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 test. Okay, this. That's missing way too much right here. Test, 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 testing, 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 testing. Maybe like this. Test, 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 test. Okay, uh, normal, normal volume again. Um, all right, now you should not hear the CRT noise anymore. And um, 
at the same at the same time, my voice might sound a bit different, especially this and sh, s, 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 s. But to be quite honest, it doesn't matter that much. So if you're not having the the most freshest S and F sounds anymore in your voice, uh, people will still be able to understand what you're saying, and it should still work out perfectly. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much how it works. If you want to filter out, uh, if you want to filter out, excuse me, want to filter out um, high pitched noises and low pitched noises from your uh, from your streaming setup. And if you have a CRT TV and you want to filter out that noise, all right. Um, I hope that I could help you out. Uh, links of the software that I used are in the description. And if you have any questions left, just leave them in the comments and I will try to get back to you. Thank you for watching and have a good day.